And guess what? Now I'm in front of the cameras putting on the show. We up. We up. And we and it's stuck. It's up and it's stuck. And like I said, I'm gonna say this one more time. I do it for the streets. Only for the streets. People that struggling. Much love, Atlanta. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, Lewis Brewington is now officially dropping jewels with Julian Virgin following his first round rear naked choke victory over Wesley Sullivan here at NFC Fight Night 147. Chaos ensued inside, outside the cage, but let me know. How'd that fight go, man? How you feeling? Man, Julian, I was in his head the whole time. I knew he lost that round, man. The first round I told him I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna break your jaw. As soon as I told him that, he looked at me like he wanna dap me up. I ain't trying to dap you up, my boy. Like, I'm really like that. I'm about to break your jaw, then we could shake hands afterwards. So like, that's what I did, man. First round got in his head. Cause listen, it's 90% mental, the rest is skills. Facts. I tell, I tell people that all the time. If you don't got the mental game, I don't care how much skills you got over me. I'm going to beat you mentally. As soon as I get you in your head, I'm knocking you out. You, you got into his head mentally at weigh-ins last night. What was said? You were in his face, elbows and all. There was some headbutts exchanged. What was said at weigh-ins yesterday? So let me tell you how crazy this was, man. So yesterday, right? So we had the weigh-ins. I'm drinking my Peter Light. I'm chilling with my guys. I'm chilling with my people. And they were like, yo, yo, that's your opponent. So I'm like, oh, what's up? I'm being humble now. Everybody know I'm being a dick. I be, I'm known for being a dick. So like, I came to the guy, I'm like, yo, what's up? My name Lewis. He was like, oh, I know who you is. I hope you ready tomorrow. I'm like, oh, oh, you on that type of energy. Okay, so now I gotta get gangster. I say less, I gotta put that switch on. So I turn that switch on. The dude was coming at me. He was like, yo, I'm gonna break your jaw tomorrow, boy. Hold on, you just caught me a boy. Do you know what that word means back in the days, my boy? It's slavery days. You called me a boy. He kept saying it. Boy, 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 boy. I'm like, bro, you might as well call me a nigga. You feel me? You might as well call me a nigga. So I said, it's personal now. You get what I'm saying? Because at first I was going to step humble. I was going to behave because David Oblast told me, Lewis, I need you to behave at this fight. So I did my thing. So I'm like, you know what? It's time to get gangster, David. I'm sorry, but this got to be a fight. So... We went to the weigh-ins. I get to his face. I say, you know what? Let's, let's, let's say this fight for tomorrow. We're not going to even fight at the weigh-ins because if we fight right here, guess what? They're going to cancel the whole fight. So I say, you know what? Let's step on the scale, and then we can finish talking later. So the dude get in my face. You know, I'm over him. That's my signature. I'm standing over people. I like to be dominant. So I'm like, I'm standing over him. I'm like, bro, like, what's up? Tomorrow, I'm going to break your jaw. He told me, he like, headbutt me. I'm like, oh, you tripping. You tripping, bro. Lotta. I like, took my palm and shoved his face. I'm like, you tripping, bro. Like, you on some other shit. But then he started talking. I'm like, you know what? I'll see you tomorrow night. And I had a show. So we go to tonight. Your walkout was insane. You go out to the Jeezy. Crowd is, is going wild. You bought the whole hood out, Lewis. The whole hood. You bought the whole hood out. And, and, and Julia, I'm not even from Atlanta. The whole Atlanta done came out. Some real steppers behind me. Some real steppers. Some real st uh, certified steppers. You feel me? A lot of people say they steppers. They ain't really steppers, man. These guys are real steppers. But they humble with it, though. They humble with it. Wesley seemed like he bought his whole crowd from South Carolina, from Tennessee as well. He had a crowd. There was animosity. There was, there's people who loved you. There's people that hated you in the crowd. You walk in. He walks in. Y'all were chirping back and forth to each other. What was being said before you even walked into the cage? I told him, hurry your motherfucking ass up in this cage so I could beat your ass. That's what I told him. The moment comes. Fight starts. What was the strategy and how did the fight play out versus how you expected it to play? The, the, I, my, whole game, my whole game plan, I wanted to strike with him. I wanted to box with him to see what he about. Because after that headbutt, I really wanted to break this man's jaw. Like, it was personal. This whole thing was personal. So I, either I wanted to catch him with an elbow or catch him with my straight left. I wanted a knockout so my whole people could go crazy. In the right way. You feel I me? Mean? Not no riot. You get what I'm saying? But I wanted to knock him out, but I didn't get that. I got the submission. You get the submission. As soon as the submission is over, Nate Man pulls you off of him. You stand up over him as if we're in Mortal Kombat. You put him in the ground with a couple shots. Walk me through what ensued. So, like, when I finish the dude, like, every time I finish somebody, I like to stand over them and let them know, like, I don't put a shot over your head. You dead. That's it. I like to put one in somebody's head like you dead. That's it. The fight over with. But I think he didn't like that. 
he took it personal. I'm like, bro, I just finished you. Why are you trying to fight me? So if you look at him, like when he got back up, he was limping towards me. I'm thinking he's going to give me a hug or dap me up and say, good fight. This dude tried to swing on me. So I had to defend myself, took him to the ground, gave him a couple of elbows, and dip. I'm out. I got kicked out. Before you got kicked out, you were able to embrace your crowd, man. You had your moment. How was that moment? Man, Atlanta showed me so much love, man. Y'all don't understand. Like, I'm not even from here. I wasn't born here. I wasn't raised here. I only been here for like five years. And I'm in and out. So I'm from Miami. Born in New York, raised in Miami. But these guys originally from Atlanta, man. And these guys like showing me love. Like these are real street dudes showing me love. You get what I'm saying? So like, Louis, who you do it for? I do it for the hood. Because that's where I come from, from Miami. So every time I embrace somebody that come from the hood, like they, they recognize real. They were like, oh, you, I know what you're doing it for. That's why I say I do it for the real certified steppers. You feel me? Again, ladies and gentlemen, Lewis Ruinson following his first round submission over Wesley Sullivan here at NFC Fight Night 147. You say you do it for the hood. First professional victory. How soon can we expect to see you back competing in the cage? Tomorrow night. Very soon. Tomorrow night. Very soon. Let's go, let's go. Tomorrow night. We could do this. Man, listen, every week I could fight if I have to. You get what I'm saying? I've been, I'm good. I had a good cramp. Shout out to Manu, Team Manu. Manu got me on my victories. I ain't lose a fight with Manu in four years, man, four years. I went from American Top Team in Atlanta, from Tubbs. Then I went to a Manu, and guess what? I ain't lose a fight ever since. Got my ground game right, got my striking game right. I was weak in my wrestling, weak in my jiu-jitsu, but guess what? I lost my first fight to a wrestler, and I said, you know what? I got to improve. I got to get back in the gym. I got to keep grinding. And guess what? Now, everybody un un underestimate my, my ground game. They're like, oh, Lou's a striker. But they don't know I know how to grapple. You feel me? I got a couple of submissions. People don't know that. People think like, oh, he a boxer. I'm not just a boxer. Y'all just found that out tonight. I'm a certified stepper, and that's why I should put, a, um, put on the show for y'all. Certified step it all the time, Lewis Bruinson. Before we part ways today, man, your final jewel you want to drop with me. What you want the people to know about Lewis Bruinson? I come from nothing, and everybody that come from nothing, I'm talking about from the project, from the streets. If you've been locked up, you've been incarcerated, and you came out, and God gave you a second chance, take advantage of that second chance, and guess what? Go out there and show people that you could really do it, man. I don't care what you've been through. If you're a felon, if you've uh, you been locked down for 10 years, get your ass out, and guess what? Go do your thing, man. And I'm talking about for people that have been homeless, been in shelters, been in foster care. I've been in foster care for years. I've been, I've been in group homes, in and out of group homes. I've been fighting all my life. But guess what? I turned my whole life around. And guess what? Now I'm in front of the cameras putting on the show. We up. We up. And, we, and it's stuck. It's up and it's stuck. And like I said, I'm going to say this one more time. I do it for the streets. Only for the streets. People that are struggling. Much love. Atlanta. Much you. love, ladies and gentlemen. Lewis, Lewis Bruinson, officially dropping jewels with Julian Virgin. Peace.